What's going on, people? Just a quick question. How many of you are in dead-end jobs? Now, when I say dead-end, you know, some of you are satisfied with what you do for a living, and, you know, you're content, you have friends at the job, you know, and you've put in time here, and you're going to be here until you retire. But there are many of us out there who see who sees the glass as being half full because they know they have potential and they know that there are things that they want to do in their life and they just can't get their hands around the tangibilities of what they want to do they can't tangibly access uh, the door to where they want to go so they feel like they're in a dead-end job now why am I talking about this today I today I went to a seminar earlier today this morning and um, you know, I met a few people, you know, I did some networking, talked to a few people, met some great people out there, you know. But I was talking to this one particular guy who really, you know, troubled me with, with, with his experiences because he was telling me about, you know, he's in a mid-management position at a company. He's doing pretty well. He's making a pretty decent salary. But he doesn't feel that he can, that he has, you know, his potentials have been met. And, you know, he's getting, he's starting to feel complacent on the job for his own personal, his, his own self. But he's working with people and he's watching people. In other words, this guy has been at this company for about maybe 10 years, roughly 10 years, I think he said. And in that 10 year span, he's watched people, you know, new recruits come in the door. And because they have access to this proverbial invisible door, that goes to a higher ceiling, they're able to advance over him. Now this guy is the guy who's training these people. He's the guy who's showing them the ropes and he's very good at his job, but he doesn't understand how newcomers, some of these young women that come in the job, you know, beautiful young women, how they, they seem to gracefully float to the top without having any success um, on previous jobs or having experience or something like that. And so he was wondering what is it taking for him to get ahead in life? My answer for him was very simple. One, it takes you. Because what you do in life determines where your life is going to go. So it's not about other people. Let's get that straight. But I, what I really wanted him to understand about where he was working, and I'm sure many of you know this, and he knows it himself deep down, that there's a good old boy system in place. The nepotist ideology rules in most corporate workspaces and and just in typical jobs mom and pops in general that that mindset you know prevails in most cases and it could come through family members or you know acquaintances and stuff like that we see these and you're troubled because it's not really what they're getting it's more about the fact that you have put in for your you know your promotion or you have pitched your your, your thing to the boss or something and it's just not you know being heard properly because they're still not you know evaluating your experience and how far you want to go in this company they're not doing that so this guy he suffered and he's suffering currently right now and that's why he was at this seminar because he wanted to pick up a few extra job skills and maybe translate them to another workspace 10 years he felt what was wasn't necessarily wasted but you know he doesn't want to see another 10 years under these circumstances. But he watched several people come in the door. Some of them are youngest, fresh out of college, go on to, you know, become, you know, higher ranked than him in his company, who he's put in at least a decade of work, hard work at that, and helped the company do a lot of great things. And he's not getting his recognition for it, even when he's shouting. Because we all heard that saying about, you know, the squeaky wheel gets oil first or something like that. We've heard that, but he's he's uh, squeaked a lot to everyone who would listen, and, and he's not getting anywhere with that. So now, today, I'm going to make this really quick. I'm going to tell you what I told this guy, and it's really about him because, see, you know your value. The company that you're working for, guy, they don't know your value. You are the only person who's completely um, authorized to know or to make a, 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 um, a statement about what your value is. Once you know your value, then the sky's the limit on what you can do because you're gonna create your own path and your own destiny. You may start that company that has to do business with your old company and now you hold the cards. 
So how does one outlive the good old boy paradigm? Because this is what it this is how it is in America. This is how it is in, in most places, most industrialized nations. Right? This is how it this is this is the typical workplace environment. Where you get you're working hard, you're putting in your time, right, and you're not getting rewarded properly for it. But you don't understand is that the, the, the people who hold the cars are of a certain type of character. They, they, they have a certain type of mindset that they embody. A lot of them were lazy. A lot of them got, you know, a leg up. A lot of them were benefiters, um, benefited, I'm sorry, from nepotist, you know, concepts. And, and, they, and they prevail because of those reasons. They're not always going to prevail in life, not all the time, because, see, something about being pushed out of the nest shows you how to fly. And if you don't ever learn how to fly properly, in that time when you need to have those wings, it's going to be detrimental to your life. And so those people are at a serious disadvantage. Maybe right now they're laughing it up. They're enjoying the perks. But when life hits them, when life strikes that main person that brought them in the door and takes them down, then they're going to go with that lot. If I'm a bad guy and I have a power position at a job and I'm bringing in cronies, once they discover that I'm embezzling funds, every single person that I brought in the door will be rolled out with me. You see how that works? So don't always revel in the fact that you know someone. Now I did tell you guys that it ain't what you know, it's who you know. I did tell you that repeatedly because I wanted you to understand that that's how nepotism works that's how the leg up thing works that's how that paradigm good old boy thing works you're a good old boy in some cases this good old boy club can be uh uh specifically related to a race or a group, cultural group or something sometimes it's, it's 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 gender and it's not necessarily a good old boy thing it's a good old girl thing you know Sometimes it's a family thing, but whatever these situations, you cannot let that deter you. Now, you already at a dead end, guy. You already told me that you've, 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 you've yelled and cussed and complained for so long, and no one has heard you. It's all falling on deaf ears. So what do you do? You are starting to do the right things in this, at this moment right now because you're at seminars. You're learning. You're, you're gaining information to go out here in the world and do some bigger things. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to take no for an answer in life. You're going to go out here and you're going to take life by the fucking horns and you're going to wrestle it to the ground. And you're going to stand victorious. That's what's going to happen. You don't, you're not going to be, be, let these setbacks get to you. Just appreciate and understand how the good old boy system works where you are and that way you can effectively maneuver around it and then go on to better things. But you, but you yourself, should have learned values through this process. You should have gained some values. And so therefore, when you go on and start your company, you're, gonna, you're not gonna hire just anybody. You're not gonna hire your relatives who are good for nothing. You're not gonna just bring in your girlfriend because you know y'all have good bedroom action. You're not gonna do these things because you're gonna be smart about your business and it's gonna be something you cultivated and you're growing. And you know, its success or its failure will be completely rest on your own shoulders you're taking responsibility that's what i'm trying to say you're just you're, you're really going to just take responsibility at this point in your life yeah you can hem and haw about the unfairness because it is there it's real right but use that hemming and hawing as fuel to move forward as your motivational factor every day you look at these shit bags i want you to look at these people in their eye and i want you to think in your mind one day one day the ass that you kick right now will be the one that you'll be kissing tomorrow. And that is so true. Ask all of the top people, you know, during their journey. Ask them what they encountered. What kind of setbacks and obstacles and roadblocks did they face on a daily basis before they made it to the top of that mountain? What, what did they go through? Yeah, they saw a good old boy. They saw it hand over fist. And in some cases now, they're creating good old boy for their own companies because they're bringing in people that they like and that they know and that they're familiar with. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
the only time there's something wrong with that is when you can't acknowledge true determination and effort with your employees over some flunky ass nephew that you have that never been shit in his life and if, you, if it were up to him to make you make more money he would probably help you lose money quicker because he doesn't have any skills and that's your truth that you're going to have to deal with so whatever uh battles or victories that you uh that you gain will be on your shoulders your failures will be strictly behind your decisions and if you decided to bring or promote such a person in your company then you shit on you you get what you deserve simply so i so the things i told this guy is probably nothing that he hadn't heard from his mom or dad or somebody in his life i'm sure he's heard the things that i'm telling him and part of it he knows himself and that's why he's in the fucking seminar in the first place because he's he's doing something for himself he's not telling these people that's why i said keep the cards in your chest you don't tell these bosses when you're when you're a major player you know you're playing a major role in company operations you don't tell these people what you're going to do or what your plans are you just make them happen that's how they meet you on your terms you go out here you create your own reality your own terms and then they have to come and they have to you know level with you on this thing if they want to deal with you or do business with you you may have the better product and they may need your product but they're going to have to play ball in your court and that's what you want you know i love bad behavior folks I love when people figure out a way to triumph over good old boy paradigms and systems that are in place. When they're the underdog and they're able to rise above all of that shit to become the top dog and have everybody licking their bootstraps, right? Everyone who, who, who tried to discourage them or tell them that they couldn't be anything or tell them that they would be unsuccessful all of the leg uppers, all of the silver spooners who now have to contend with you on equal playing ground because you were self-made and you built yourself up from the ground up, not, not giving a leg up. It's real. So I want you folks to, you know, like the videos and share them as always because I do appreciate you doing that. And that helps further the message. And, you know, that's what I want. Ultimately, that is the goal of this, of this conversation, is to get you to have some understanding of things that are going to help you in your life. Because it's not all about telling you you're an asshole all the time. If you're not going to be one, then I have no reason to tell you that you're an asshole. Until we talk again, folks, y'all take care. Have a nice day.